Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this Cuban chain with its pendant. And I divide it into two parts because it doesn't get boring. And in this part, I'm gonna show you the process of creating the Cuban chain. And in the next part, I will show you how I made the word pendant. Let's jump into the tutorial. First, I'm going to add a curve to my scene by pressing Shift A, go to the curve section and choose circle. Then I'm going to edit mode by pressing tap and we need just select this vertex and press R, X, enter 60 to rotate it 60 degrees in the X axis. And after that, select this vertex, press R, Y, minus degrees mm, minus 60 i'm sorry minus 60 and then again select this one r x minus 60 this one r y 60 degrees and you have something like this if you enter the all of the numbers correctly then i'm going to here curve setting and in the geometry section you just need to increase this one to something like 0.25 it's fine and then enter 12 for resolution in the bevel section and enter 24 for resolution in the shape section and after that you can just press f3 and search for convert oh i'm sorry convert to mesh or you can just go to the object menu and in the convert section convert your curve to the mesh then i'm going to add a cube to my scene and scale it up scale it down in the z-axis then i'm going to move it up to somewhere like here and add a mirror modifier to it and then i'm going to select the eyedropper and select my curve and choose z for axis and disable the x then i'm going to hide my cube and select my bezier curve then i'm going to add a boolean modifier to it then choose eyedropper and select my cube from the properties then you can select the cube and go to the object properties and when you hovering the z-axis of the cube you can place it somewhere like here or whenever you are fine with that somewhere like here is fine okay then i'm going to select my bezier curve and make a duplicate of it by press shift d and then right click and hide the main one and then apply the boolean modifier then i'm going to the edit mode and choose these two faces or just one it doesn't matter press shift d and right click then press p and choose selection to separate it to a single object then delete the copy of the bezier curve and then just right click and set origin to geometry then you can go to the edit mode select all and scale it down like this then you can rotate it 45 degrees to play with the x-axis scale and again rotate it minus 45 degrees to place it where it was then i'm going to move it up and again go to the edit mode press e to extrude it and something like this is fine and then go to the object mode and press a slash to hide other things then go to the edit mode and just dissolve these edges by pressing ctrl x I'm doing this because I will apply a boolean modifier to it and it will be better if it's clear. And then just hit slash again to return back everything and uh, right click and choose shade smooth 
then go to the object data properties and in the normal section checkbox the auto smooth and do the same with this piece now select this object and after that select the big piece then press ctrl p and choose object keep transform then select the bigger part press r z and minus 45 then apply the rotation by pressing a and choose rotation then select this part and go to the modifier properties then add a mirror modifier then choose the eyedropper and click on the bigger part then just select the bigger part and add another boolean modifier to it select the eyedropper select this one and hide it then choose fast for solver now you have these holes then you can apply the both of these boolean modifiers and after that i'm going to add a reference which you can download it from the link in the description and do the other things according to that after adding the reference image i'm going to scale down my object and place it somewhere like here like these and then i'm going to add a circle and bring it up and just hit slash to focus on this one and i'm sorry i'm going to add another circle and open this menu press enter 8 for vertices oh what the hell <laughs> and again press a slash to focus on this one scale it down press tab to go to the edit mode then press f to fill it and press E to extrude it up Ctrl R to add a loop cut here and scale this loop cut and make it bigger then I'm going to select these one these faces and scale them down like this or more like this this is fine then I'm going to hit slash again to return back everything and scale it down to something like this and I'm going to make it according to this reference now I'm just gonna duplicate my diamond in the edit mode and place them according to the reference and after that I will move the diamonds into my real piece After that, I'm going to the edit mode again and select one of these diamonds by press L on that. Then I duplicate it and I scale it down to make some little diamonds and more details. And after that, whenever you have something like this, you can add a mirror modifier to it and choose the eyedropper select the this bezier curve and it will be something like this and one more thing i want to do is i want to select this big piece and i'm going to edit mode and select some of these areas and i'm going to turn on the proportional editing and when now when i select s and z and scale them down I can change it to more flatter faces yeah something like this is fine to me then I'm going to select my diamonds and apply the mirror modifier and after that I'm going to select this piece and press ctrl J to join the diamonds and this one together then I'm going to press alt G to reset the location of this and enter 45 for z axis location and apply the rotation by pressing ctrl a and apply the rotation then go to the top view and add an array modifier then enter 0 0.5 for x factor then press shift a and add a bezier curve to your scene then again 
select this object and here in the array modifier change the fixed count to fit curve and then select the eyedropper and choose this curve then add another modifier which called curve and select the eyedropper and choose the bezier curve as the curve object don't forget to apply the scale of this object now if you select the curve and go to the edit mode you can change the shape of your necklace very easily like this and it's very cool isn't it you can also select these two vertices and right click then choose subdivide to make another vertex and change the place of it to change the shape of your necklace to rotate an area of the necklace you can select the vertex and press ctrl t now i'm going to disable these modifiers and uh, i'm going to do the material just go to the shading workspace and add new material to it then click on this plus button and add new again name them metal and diamond then i'm going to do the metal first it's easy you just need to decrease the roughness to something like 0.25 and increase the metallic up to 1 then I'm gonna go to the edit mode and select this part by press L on it and then press Ctrl I to invert it and select my diamond. Then I'm going to select the diamond in material properties and click on assign button. Now I'm going to change the diamond material by changing the transmission up to 1, roughness to 0 and entering 2.41 for IOR. We are done with the part 1 guys and now I'm going to set up some scenes and rendering setups to show you the result we did in this part. I'm going to render it with cycles because it works better with refractions, glasses and so on. In the next episode we're gonna make the baby board pendant and connect it with this chain. I hope you all enjoyed of this tutorial and subscribe me in order to don't miss the part 2 of this tutorial which I will have dropped it by the end of this week. By the way this is the final render I get with a really basic lighting setup and a very low sampling I think it was 128. Stay tuned for the next episode and goodbye.